That's so good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. No, I thought that was good. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Kirsten and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I hope you enjoy my puffy face in this video. Um, this is going to be a real talk, a story time. Yep, anyways. Here's my roommate, Hope. Hi. This is her big introduction. She's eating from Palm and Honey, which is an American TDR. Mm -hmm. area, well, M MGC over there. But, yeah. It's kind of been a sad few days. It's been um, an eventful few days. It's been an eventful few days. Yeah, sure. that's one way to put it. Um, so yeah, today I wanted to do a big sister talk video because I haven't done one in a while and you know, I just have some things I want to get off my chest, some advice I think I can give and um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. If you don't know what Big Sister Talks is, it's a video series I started a while back and it's just kind of like, almost like an advice column and I just talk about kind of experiences I've had, and things I've learned from them. So Hope can test. This weekend was awful to put it, I, there's no other words that I can really describe the weekend in. Would you agree? Yeah, a catastrophe is what catastrophe. I would call it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna give a backstory. So this video is just gonna be about college dating. I've had like really bad luck with guys this year. Um, I'll just be real about it. Like it's just not been good. And so to provide context, this particular weekend, I I've been talking to this guy, or I was talking to this guy, for like three to four months since like the end of June, whatever. Like consistently talking every single day. He goes to a nearby school, which I won't provide details of. Um. But you know, just know it's a very good school in the area. I think you, I think you can probably <laughs> figure out what's Georgetown. Going on. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we were talking for a while, and I really liked him. I really liked this guy. Thought he's gonna be like my boyfriend, I guess. I don't know. We went on a couple dates, and the dates were pretty good. Like we hit it off again. Thought we were gonna be boyfriend girlfriend. Talked every single day. Um, and then this for week, months. For months. For months. And then, um, sorry for the background comments. I'll put no, my you can provide in. as many background <laughs> comments as you want. But then this weekend, he said we're gonna go on a date on Sunday, and I had a conference until two. He said he would come pick me up after the conference, and he like hearted my message saying like, oh, like at two, you can come whenever. Four thirty rolls around, and I was like, okay, this is kind of weird. Granted, I had spent over an hour and a half to two hours getting ready, like, you know, doing my hair, makeup, like, literally getting all dolled up, like, to the extreme. So I was so excited for this date. And then 4.30 rolls around, I text him, and I was like, hey, are we still hanging out? And I uh, wait 20 minutes, no response. I was like, that's kind of weird, you know? So I go on Instagram, and uh, I was blocked. <laughs> And I was like, well, that's kind of weird. Checked my fitness page, also blocked. Follow her fitness page, Follow, follow right? those pages, by the way. <laughs> Put them somewhere. And uh, Snapchat, blocked. So, yeah, that kind of was awkward, considering we were supposed to have a date and that we were basically dating. And, um, yeah. So I was confused. I texted him. My call went straight to voicemail, but my text like delivered, so I don't know if I'm blocked there. I don't know if he's ever gonna see this video. I don't care if you are watching this. I, I hope you see this, I hope you do. So, yeah. And then it hit me. It hit me like a ton of bricks that evening when my lovely roommate got home, and I was telling her the details of the day, because I was obviously very upset. And um, she goes, I see, like the first thing out of her mouth is, oh, so he's a secret girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm pretty like 95% sure that that was what happened. So we did some sleuthing and um, he even blocked me on a Visco. Got, like, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just like, I'm laughing because it's just so absurd. It's so absurd. There's no other way to put this story. Like, it is the most bizarre thing that has ever happened to me with a guy. It's also the rudest, meanest, like, worst thing a guy has ever done to me. I mean, not only did he literally block me after basically dating me, 
but he also did it on a day where I got ready for our date like I had planned my entire week and I was looking forward to this the day before I like told my friend I was like I'm so excited for my date tomorrow the, the audacity of this boy like not impressed so yeah I mean it's not confirmed but there were very suspicious behaviors and listen for legal reasons it's not confirmed but yeah in all other intents and purposes, it's, it's confirmed. confirmed. There's a lot of details I won't go into, um, but just know there's evidence. Um, <laughs> so regardless, I tell this story to just like, in case anyone can relate to this, because this is absolutely awful and no one deserves to go through this, but also because dating in college literally sucks. Like, there's no other way to put it. Some people find their love match, like, freshman year, first day. I, like, I wish. But other people, like, no. It's on and off. Like, people don't know what they want. People are not communicating their feelings. People are lying. Like, there are so many things that you can go through. And for me, this process has been eye-opening. Because one thing I learned very significantly is that I tend to ignore actions and just listen to words. So red flags come in many different forms and for me I was so excited at the possibility of this being like the person I was supposed to be with that I ignored so many behavioral 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 red flags that like should have been an instantaneous no for me I mean he literally didn't like dogs like I, I do not know how I how I even went on a date after learning that anyways okay regardless I also wish I could say this is the first time this has happened to me. The secret girlfriend thing, yeah, that's a first. But being ghosted randomly, I, it's not the first time this has happened to me. So if this is happening to you in college, just know, like, unfortunately, this is normal. I guess this is how people freaking act in college. It's normal, but it's not okay behavior. And trust me, you deserve better. And then, this morning, I got a bad grade on an assignment and so for me that was just another you know nail in the coffin for for how i'm feeling and i had a long conversation with my sister and you know bad days just happen and they feel awful and there's literally like just nothing you can do to avoid them and that's why i'm dressed like this because i want it to be realistic i feel like so many videos on youtube it's the highlights and i know like you hear this a lot but it really is like the highlights of people's lives and so much of college is just awful and uncomfortable and miserable and it's like the biggest transition phase and you deal with crap all the time and you're like why am i dealing with this like this is absolutely awful and other times are great and you're like oh my gosh this is i'm living my best life and you post those moments, you obviously, and that's what you see and you're like, college is gonna be this amazing time. And then you realize it's like that like 25% of the time. The other 25, it's like, eh, you know, whatever. And then 50% of the time, it's like, oh my God, like what is going on, you know? And that's normal. And I want to just say that because I just think that we need to have a conversation about it and Hopefully just make you guys feel less alone or less like that something is wrong with you because nothing is wrong with you. It's completely normal. So from this, I want to give advice and I want to talk about, I mean, how you can avoid making the same mistakes I made. And for me, it's really just about not forgetting your inner worth. And I know it sounds cheesy, but for me, this is my biggest issue. And I was just talking about it with my roommate and my sister and my counselor my like therapist and I let external factors determine so much of how I feel about myself and that obviously is not good because external factors are all around you and they're constantly going to be affecting you if you live like this and it's a practice but you have to learn to have so much internal worth and love for yourself that no matter what happens you will love yourself, choose yourself, and know that you're enough no matter what life throws at you. Because life isn't fair, life is random, life is full of awful coincidences and things that happen and you're like, in the moment, why is this happening to me? And then eventually down the road, things, 
you know, work out and you're like, it all makes sense now. It, I get it. I get, I understand. But in the moment when it happens, it feels like your life is literally falling apart. You know, I've just had these realizations and it's a process and it's like, what do I even do? And for me, it's just about journaling and writing out my feelings and doing things I love, like making these videos and keep just going even when you don't want to and forcing yourself to go to the gym, hang out with your friends, call your mom, like, well, hopefully you want to call your mom and hang out with your friends and stuff. That's not what I mean. But like when you feel like just being alone and you force yourself to do things that you know will make you happy and being proud of yourself for that, I think is just impressive and so worthwhile to improving who you are as a person and your character. So, I mean, today it's just going to be this quick little, you know, I guess rant session, but I really just wanted to do it in case anyone's also having a bad day. And just or wanted, in case anyone found out that their uh, guy that they were seeing had a secret girlfriend. Yeah. In case that happened to you, I'm so sorry. Like literally, comment below or DM me because we need to. <laughs> I want to talk. I want to know, like, w like what happened. You know. Also, he like never even answered my text messages, which is just mean. Like, if you're watching this video, dude, you're like that's mean. Also, I'm not making this video out of like pity or like oh like what was Kirsten yeah. I'm making this video just to normalize bad days I'm not doing it to like I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine I'm happy I'm content for the most part I'm just doing it so other people also know it's okay to look like this normal and have a bad day get a bad grade and have a failed relationship like it's normal in college okay and if you are about to go to college I'm sorry, but prepare yourself because it's probably going to happen. Like, whatever, character development, I guess. Um, yeah, so this really was not scripted in any way, shape, or form, but I needed to get it off my chest. So thank you for listening. And if you like these sit-down talks, you know, let me know. Comment below, video ideas, things you want me to talk about, and I will see you for my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Bye.